LED error codes are the way that your controller will communicate from your system when you are having issues. There's a few codes that you'll want to know. The all level LED blinking. That LED will blink when your system is already level, so you only need to deploy the system if you are looking for stabilization. The on off, jacks down, and park brake. So that is a communication error. You could have a disconnected wire at your control panel, or you could have a chewed through wire or damage somewhere. The park brake LED blinking, this one's a little obvious, so you'll need to engage your park brake before you try to operate that system. The weight and on off LED blinking, so that's a transmission error. You either have loss of communication to the transmission or your system's not sensing when that transmission is in neutral. All LEDs are blinking, so this is the program this is the program mode when you're trying to calibrate that zero point into your controller. Left, right, front, rear, and all level LEDs are blinking. So that's all the LEDs inside that diamond. And that is the controller telling you that you have too much of an excessive slope for the system to achieve level. So you either have to repark the unit or your controller became unmounted or is not mounted correctly and you need to remedy that by mounting it correctly with that arrow pointing to the front of the unit. That controller is looking for level within 0.3 degrees and that's when the system will tell you that level has been achieved. If you are outside of or larger than five degrees out of slope, this system will not be able to level your unit. The way LED is blinking, so that is the controller telling you that it's trying to take measurements and calibrate to become ready for leveling your system. Low voltage LED blinking, so at that safety interconnect harness, it's measuring if you have proper voltage coming off of your battery. If you do not have good voltage, you will not be able to run this system. Left, right, and all level LEDs are blinking. Your system has been in retract for over four minutes and your bobber switch or your pressure switch has not sensed that your jacks are in their retracted position. So for the power down spring return system, you'll wanna check the fluid in that reservoir and make sure that that float switch is functioning properly. And then the power down, power up system, you check that pressure switch, make sure that it's engaged and that you don't have fluid leaking anywhere on your system.